All right, Frankie, pizza review time. We are at Graffa Pizza and Pasta. Where are we are on Washington Ave and Schutze Ave. I made that up because I can't see it. Obviously, special guest, uh, world famous, Michael Buffer. Hey, let's get ready for One Bite Pizza. <laughs> there it is. There, you know, Frankie, we do these pizza reviews and every once in a while, you get surreal moments where you're like, there's no way in a million years I'm gonna be with Michael Buffer doing the microphone coming down. Magic. Magic. Came out of nowhere. And I'm like a boxing guy, so I've been watching you forever. I'm a huge boxing fan. You make me feel young when you say that, forever. Well, okay. I'm, well I, I grew up with you, it's the same. So it, it's, it's, a, it's a bucket list. It's a bucket list thing that I didn't even know was a... <laughs> Spidey, you couldn't have stayed up there until this was done? All right, so DAZN, that's the new wave of boxing. You're involved, you want to tell, if Great. you don't know what it is, tell us a little bit. DAZN, D-A-Z-N, streaming boxing, a fight fan for Whoa, Whoa. good catch. I still got it. Uh, you can watch the fights almost every week from somewhere oh. in the world. Oh. It's a tight, it's like, a tight street for work. Here, getting you know? abused here. <laughs> All these New Yorkers. <laughs> hey, get out of my way. Oh, okay, sorry, man. Um, yeah, DAZN, streaming, boxing, MMA, um, I think it's like a hundred bucks for a year. That's less than ten bucks a month. You can't do. It. All right, so buy it. Uh, let's get now to the down dirty here. Pizza Graffa. She requested us in there. She's like, I told you to come by. Yeah. So you take a bite and you score zero through ten. Everybody's and it's a pizza cheese guy. pizza, which is the, the control. This is where you start. The gold you know, medal slice, so, yeah. as we we're talking so about. We gotta, we gotta do a little bit of a bend yeah. here. A little, right? well, yeah, little bend and, and some and grease you know coming down. The great thing for me, this is breakfast. My first bite of the day. Oh, really? So I get a, a on the solid run? taste. Yeah. Wow. More crisp than I thought. I like that. I like that little crispy feel. There. Yeah, there's more crisp. I thought it was gonna be super floppy. It is a little floppy, a little mm -hmm. bit greasy, but. Well, that's good. That's not bad. You like the grease? I know we took. We're only supposed to take the one bite. One thing I like here is it's got a crust you can eat. Now, sometimes you get crust. It's like you got to give it to the dog. It's yeah. Bone. Crust is the best part. Nice. You got to like have that second bite. Like what are you gonna give it? Yeah. I'm sort of between. You know, I'm leaning between like a like a high seven. And a, but, you know, like, I'm gonna give it like a B plus, so uh, an 8.2. Now, I'm gonna explain the scale. Uh, an 8.2 for us is like an A minus at least. I'm gonna, if he wants to keep that, but a B plus would be like a 7.7. Seven. Up to you, no pressure. I'm gonna stay with 8.2. Okay. Like it. And it, it, like I say, it's my first bite of anything for the day, so I, that my, does pal my palate is ready. Hungry. And I liked it. And I can just imagine having this with the works with different stuff, with veggies, with mushrooms. What's your go-to pizza? I'll keep that to myself. Classified. I'm going 7-1. I think it's it's not in that six range. It's good, it gets the job done. I went dry for it. So Michael Buffer, 8.2, 7.1, the zone, legend of the game. Let's get by the way. Oh yeah, no, no. I just fucked that all up. And Super Bowl week. Here in Miami. I couldn't, I, he was gonna do it, I cut him off. He's gonna do it again, Frank. <laughs> um, last question. Yeah. When did you realize that hit? Like, you're, you're, the let's get right around. Like, when you're like, oh Probably my God. A, a few years into it, and what, some of the best advice I got was from a friend of mine in LA a long time, a singer, Jody Burry, who's open for Ella Fitzgerald, great entertainment guy. And he said years ago, Buffer, when you say let's get ready to rumble, shut the blank up. Why? People want to react to it. So they used to just say, let's get ready to rumble. Ten rounds of up. He says, wait for it. And that was the best advice they ever had. There's almost, I'm sure I could think of maybe like uh, uh, Keith Jackson. And what, there's very few phrases that mean as much as that does. When you hear it, and you're like, uh oh, big fight time. Uh, off the top, I don't even know anything else. It's a legend. Thank you for coming out. I appreciate it. I'll never forgive myself for interrupting the second one. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> all right, thanks, man. Thanks.